multiple insertions and a sac like structure surrounded by that ecofill area. Now, this is that sac I am talking about with ecogenic rim around it, and this is the fluid, total fluid around it. extending from the region of the left adnexa into the right lower abdominal quadrant, left lower abdominal quadrant. Now, see the magnified view. So you see there is a this fluid that you are seeing is full of septation. This is a sac shaped area and this is all fluid with tiny septas. This is all fluid this with internal septas. These are all septations within this uh, uh, surrounding this cystic area with ecogenic rim around it which is most probably and uh, a gestational sac. And it, this sac is surrounded by fluid that contains a lot of tiny thread-like structures, the septas, and thus we cannot rule out the possibility of uh, this. You see the fluid tracks into the lower abdomen, left side. And here the sac lies very close to the urinary bladder, but it's on the left side. And then the fluid with so many sufficients that is bleed that is not clear fluid or not uh, a fluid with internal echoes that and, and then here it tracks that really shape structure is, is surrounded by a thick equation field. And you see this is the internal area part cystic area and the outer this one is if this is a gestational sac, then this is a trophoblastic reaction or a residual reaction again in the uh, surrounding the gestational sac. And uh, in this case, we cannot rule out the possibility of an ectopic pregnancy, ruptured ectopic pregnancy in the left adenexa, and then bleed extending into the lower abdomen. This is the fluid part with the holes internally that I am calling, naming as bleed because bleed really gives the this sort of sonographic picture. Moreover, if we keep the history of the patient in mind, then we can take the liberty of saying that this is bleed. Seminoria, minoria, highly raised uh, beta ICG level, sac shaped structure within this fluid compartment and uh, surrounded by ecogenic rim is very much suggestive of uh, ectopic pregnancy surrounded by fluid and the cause of her present day uh, 
finding <coughs> complaints of uh, pain, severe pain. This is the area. This, this is the area of bleed with internal cystic area that persists despite repeated scans and surrounded by an ecogenic ring. So this is a case of ectopic ruptured gestation, uh, ectopic pregnancy with fluid rather bleed surrounding the sac as well as extending into the peritoneal cavity. 